Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Milton Tutorials and Toolpath series. This is our exercise number 6th part 3. In exercise number 6th part 1, we show you that simulations of different number of toolpath on a proper machine simulations on a left hand spindle with the help of right hand spindle with the help of upper stream with the help of lower stream lathe and milling all the toolpath as well as the part handling. Once you watch the simulation, you will get understand an idea about that how my part handling and all the process is going to be happening and you will get your mind is getting to be active on these things. So if you want to learn, I would like to suggest you first go watch first simulation video. After that, the second video we show you that how we can make a job setup for that one component. Job setup is really important in Mastercam Milton module and that's a new thing as compared to the lathe milling and all the previous things that we learned. So that's a really really important when we are talking about the Milton module and after that the next thing is we will learn about that how we can create a lathe and milling toolpath on the left hand spindle. So in this video you are, you are going to learn about how we can create a toolpath for the left hand spindle and how it's going to be work. So for create a left hand spindle toolpath we have to first go a turning toolpath and just say a face. In a face, I am going to create a facing toolpath with the help of lower stream. So I have to choose it, define it to define a reference point, face parameter, step over, overcut, retract value, and just say okay. So this is my facing operations. After that, I would like to show you the roughing operation because all the turning operation I am showing you from the last four to five exercise. So I hope you guys get idea about all these things. So I am going a little quick for the rough turning operations. This is my desktop card. Use stop for outer boundary and just say OK. So this is my roughing operation. After the roughing operation, I am going to show you how we can create a finishing operation for that one component. So for create a finishing operation, I am going to create a with the help of upper stream. And in the upper stream, I have to tilting the angle 0 to the 19 degree because when we are talking about the angle, B angle is 0. It means my uh, milling head angle is zero is this so that time we can't do the turning operation so that time milling and ang head angle is required to be uh, straight it means we have need it in 90 degree so that's a main requirement of that and we can choose a tool once i choose a tool i can define the reference point right at click on here the finishing parameter all are okay and this is my finishing operation so as you can see after completing of the finishing operation, I am going to show you a grooving operation for the both of groove on that one position and that one position. For create a groove, I am going to uh, calculate what is the width of that of that insert. So for that one purpose, we have to click right click analyze entity. Just click on it. Total 4 mm, and this is going to total 2.5 mm. So I can use a 2 mm uh, insert size. So I have to go to the groove. I am going to do the both same at the same time. So grooving chain, first chain. After that, this is going to be second chain. Once I define both of chain, this is going. I am going to define the tool of grooving purpose. And the next thing is reference point. This is my reference point. Just say okay groove from outer boundary so grooving parameter all the parameters are the same as a previously so i hope you guys get understood i have idea about how all the grooving operations and the parameters so this is all about the grooving roughing facing and finishing now we have to show you that how we can create a toolpath the next thing is how we can create toolpath with the help of upper stream and that toolpath is the milling toolpath so i would like to show you uh, create a toolpath with the help of milling head. So for, this is our first toolpath when we are going to show you the how we can create a toolpath on a Milton with the help of milling module. So for that one purpose we have to came in a milling. Once I click on a mill I have to click on it and I have to choose a toolpath. I have to create a toolpath between that part area so I am going to choose the toolpath that is known as a pill mill. So for that pill milling toolpath I am going to select a pill this is my solid model so I have to came in a solid model and select the chain the first this once I define one side chain I have to define the another side and just say okay 
once I define the both side chain after that I have to define the tool diameter and this is my 10 mm of flat diameter flat tool once I came in a setup so in setup that's a new thing that is going to add on when we are talking about the mill turn so let me discuss a little bit about that what is it so when we are working on a mill turn so there are the multiple different kind of faces we are working there where we are working we are working on c-axis phase so we are using both of these when we are working y axis phase so we have to use it when we are working on y axis cross we have to use this if you don't have idea about that which is c axis which is y axis which is y axis cross which is y axis phase so you can learn about the turn mill module we create a four number of tool path in our turn mill module where we you get understand about this that and if you consistently practice and watch the video so we'll get understanding about that that which option where we have to use and that is option the same as we are using in the turning that from the which stream and which spindle we have to create a tool path if we have upper stream and left hand spindle we have to use this if you have a lower stream and left hand spindle we have to use this if you have a right hand spindle and upper stream we have to use and if you have a right hand spindle and lower stream you have to use and these option let we have used different options on a different operation so you will get understand an idea about it so for the first option we are we are going to use that is a y axis cross and that's we are using reason behind that because that component or the profile is that is in y axis work after that i have to came in a cutting parameter i have to define the value stock to leave on wall and floor 0 0 and after that i have to came in a break a uh, linking parameter i have to just say incremental 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 increment all these things are going to be incremental and just say okay so as you can see this is our Milton tool path is going to be created perfectly on that one particular face now have a look so that is going to create a proper and very good pill milling tool path for the, this open slot and that's a pretty good once I create tool path for that one area I have to call a tool path transform so I have to click on tool path transform I have to select a tool path and after that how I am going to transform that one tool path so according to the type of tool path I am going to select it and how I am going to transform that tool path so there are the three options that you have to rotate the tool path you have to rotate the planar or you have to rotate or transform the tool path so I am going to use a rotate of tool path so I am going to select it and now the next window is rotary type how you are going to rotate that your that one so for that one I am going I have to the total number of rotation is 1 and the angle of rotation is 180 and just say okay so now have a look that's the beauty of this tool path so as you can see here upper and lower slot both area tool path is going to be successfully created and once I create this tool path after that I am going to show you that how I can create a tool path for the drilling operation with the help of lower stream so I have to click on it and what is the diameter of it it's a 6 mm so I have to go again in a turning module and I have to choose a drill which diameter is 6 mm I have to click on it and now I have to choose a lower turret so that's a first time when we are create a lower turret tool a lower turret tool path for the drilling purpose I have to choose it when I choose it for these kind of turret which can rotate in uh, z-axis so that time we have these kind of tool if you want to make left hand side tool uh, left hand side spindle you have to choose the insert direction this or drill direction this and if you want to make an operation for the right hand side that time you have to choose it for example for that one condition we are we have to going to create a tool path for the left hand side so I am going to choose it we have to double click and modify the diameter of my drill 6mm 6mm and draw it the total length and all these I hope that's are perfect so I have to just say ok and one, once I say ok I have to came here and I have to define the depth I have just click on a depth and just say which click on it and at here I can say create this tool path as a pad drilling and depth of cut is 3 mm and just say ok now let me show the tool path simulation so that's a perfect and a really pretty tool path as you can see right at here so that successfully we are doing the multiple number of tool path on left hand stream so here you will learn a different number of turning tool path as well as a one milling tool path now I am going to create a synchronization of all these tool path and that's really important when we are talking about the milter 
So we have to select all these toolpath and just press on G1. Once I click on G1, so my new window is going to open right at here. And now I would like to show you how we make the synchronization of left hand upper stream and the lower stream. So we have to make a right click on here and just say expand all the operations. And now how we have to make synchronization. So first operation I would like to create so uh, run on a machine the face after that rough. Once my roughing operation going to complete I have to came on a finish so I just have to make it as a finish. Once my finish operation is going to successfully complete it I have to run the grooving operation so I make it as a group. Once my grooving operation have to be end so I have to call my pill milling operation so that's why I call a pill milling operation. Once my pill milling operation have to be conform, con complete I have to make the transform tool path and make the other tool path and after that I have to call the drilling operation so all these things are the synchronization and that we can calculate according to our sequence of operation how we want to make the mass on run on the machine once I define all these things if you click on a launch so automatically my new machine module will came for the machine simulation on a proper machine and if you want to make the NC output you have to click on G1 post now I have to check this part on a machine simulation so I have to just click on a launch once I click on a launch button so as you can see it now my view new window is blinking right at here in a master cam now have a look this is the beauty of Milton let's we play it uh, the fixture was high so I just on the fixture have a look this is the first operation the tools are also high so I just uh, turned on the tool so that's the first one the facing operation once my facing operation successfully completed uh, that's here is the turning operations once my turning operation completed this is my finishing operation and after the finishing operation the next operation is performing here and that is known as a grooving operation so after completion of the grooving operation my new tool is came here and that's here perform the milling operation a really beautiful tool path the pill milling tool path have a look have a, the beauty of this toolpath now as you can see here this is going to be collide due to the less length of the total tool length so we have to keep in mind that we need to make the modification of the total length of this tool so we make to modification right at here and the same issue and the collision is happening on here if you want to check when automatically machine have to stop when we are collide so you can go in a stop condition and add a collision at here and if you as you can see that's the beauty of master cam when it's something is going to be accident so it automatically show here and that's help us a lot so after completing of this operations and last and final now my drilling operation is performed on the left hand spindle with the help of lower stream so i hope you guys get understanding about all these things in the next video we will modify the total length of this tool and we will learn about that how we can create a part handling from the left hand spindle to the right hand spindle as well as we will also create a multiple number of operation with the help of lower stream as well as the upper stream on the right hand spindle. So I till the time keep practice keep growing and grow your career. So see you in the next video the master camp Milton exercise number 6 part 4th.